I enjoyed firearm training, tac tactics training. I like to think I was pretty good at it. I was the type of person that I didn't have a problem. If I'm lawfully there and I have a weapon on you and you pull a weapon on me, I will shoot you. I, I have no qualms doing it. Where I've seen other cops, they freeze up or they don't. They're, I guess they, you have to come to peace with yourself. And I did that early on with my career to realize you may have to take someone's life and you need to make peace with that right now versus when the shit hits the fan, like active, active shooter, you know, when the, when all the agencies started doing active shooter after Columbine and stuff like that. And back then, which today they don't do this, but back then they had what they called simunitions, real guns, but shot little, little freaking pellet paintball things smaller than a paintball is like the head of a eraser, but it would explode on you. And I've been shot with paintballs. Those hurt. These little simunitions, you swear someone shot you. It hurt like a motherfucker. And it was like, and once you get shot a few times with those things, it really is self-training, self-correcting. But we went through, I would go through active shooter training with people on the department. And when I was in narcotics, we'd go as a group. And after the first two years of training, the, the instructors are like, you guys can't come through here together. You guys are just too good. You're defeating all the things. We need to put you under some pressure. You guys can come like in partners, but you're going to work with all these other people on the department. And once I did that, it was like, holy shit. It's an eye opener because you may be a cop, Niles, but you may not be that guy that when I show up to an active shooter, I may like, Hey, I forgot something in the car. Can you go get it? I'm going to run in and handle the problem. Come back. And you're like, what? I'm like, done. Guy's dead. Let's get out of here. There were people in there that had not come to grips with that concept of popping a cap on someone and putting them down. It's like, if you don't do that, then the ultimate thing you have to do is maybe take someone's life. If you can't come to grips with that, you're kind of living a, a farce as a cop. I'm, I, not to say I'm a killer or anything like that, but you have to have that grip. And it was like, I'd go through active shooter training and it's like, wait, you're telling me, you're giving me this gun, this ballistic shield, this helmet and all this gear. And there's a bad guy in there shooting people in there. And you want me to go in there and to neutralize him? Yes. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'd, we'd go in there, clear corners, clear, bad guy pop out. There are people like, Seattle, please show me your hands. It's like, he has his hands right there. He has a gun in it or a rifle. What do you, what do you give, you know, you just walk up and, you know, and just drop them. Yeah. That's active shooter training. That's yeah. what they want you to do. And a lot of people have a hard time getting around that.